So in the series of learning C programming, we are discussing some programs on file handling in C. In the previous video, we have discussed a program in which you are supposed to count number of lines in a text file, right? So in this video, we will discuss a program in which you are supposed to copy a content of one file into another file, right? We have some content in one file and we want to copy the, that content, that content of that file to another one, right? So that thing we will discuss here, first of all we will write in that program and line by line I am going to discuss that program. Then I will show you output, like I am going to show you practical also on my laptop, right? Now before that I just want to tell you one thing, as we know GATE 2022 exam is going on. So here an academy is conducting live sessions for this GATE exam analysis. And this analysis will be done by the top educators of GATE and ESC and they are going to discuss solution of all the questions. So that you can analyze how many questions you got right about your rank and the score, you know, your gate score, everything. The best part is you can take these live sessions for free. You just have to enroll. The enrollment link you will find in the description box of this video. And for gate 2023 and 2024 aspirants, they are also going to start new batches. In these batches, their top educators will be covering all the subjects of CS and IT. And in this course, you will get preparation strategy, tips and tricks, practice questions, numericals, along with the detailed explanation of all the concepts. Plus you can get all your doubt cleared in a separate doubt clearing sessions. But these are paid subscription because here you will get complete and structured course, right? But you can use my code JKL10 to get 10% discount on these paid subscriptions. And an academy is also offering you a super combo offer in which if you buy two years of GATE and ESC subscription, you will get extra one year free subscription for campus placement and IT jobs. And if you buy one year of GATE and ESC subscription, you will get six month subscription free for campus placement and IT jobs. And here also, if you will use my code JKL10, you will get extra 10% off. So the price detail you can see on my screen. So all the relevant links and detail I'll put in the description box of this video. If you are interested, you can go and check out. Now let's discuss what, how to write down a program to copy content of one file into another one. See here I have suppose one file abc.txt. And in this file, I have some content like, hi, hello, we have Jenny's lectures. This is the content I have in this file. So I want to copy this content into, into another file. Suppose another file is, I'm taking destination, destination.txt. And here I want to copy the content of this, hi, hello, Jenny's lectures. Then how you will do this, right? So first of all, you are supposed to the right method is now first of all, you have to understand the question, right? What is being asked? Then try to think the logic, right? How you will write down that program and then start writing program. It's not like that. Just you no know, read the line. Yeah, copy content of a file into another one and start writing program. No, understand the question first completely. If you have any doubt, you can ask from your faculty or anyone. Then you no. Know, uh, start thinking logic that how you will do this. See this content if you want I want to copy to this first of all obviously we are going to read this file. Read means we are going to open this file in read mode and here I am going to write this content. Copy means obviously we are going to write so you are supposed to read uh, you are supposed to open this file into W mode. I think it is clear to you fine. Now character by character there can be many methods. One method is character by character, I am reading this file and I am copying that character into this. First of all, I will read H, I will copy H here, then I, then I here, then slash N, okay slash N, then again H, H, E, L, L, O, like this, till end of file. Once I reach to end of file, out or you can say exit from the loop. Obviously, we, we are, you know, you need to use some loop here. One by, one by one character I am reading. So you will put that logic into a loop for while or do while in which you are comfortable you can write down that log, that loop. That's it. This is the logic. Now how you will write down that thing in, in a program? You are just supposed to run a loop from here to end of file and you are copy character by character here. To fetch a character you will use f get c. You know the syntax, right? To write something here to write a character, you will use f put c, that's it. This is the simple logic and now you are supposed to write down this thing in a program, right? So how you will write c? So how many file pointer you will need? One for this file, one for this file. One file pointer can handle only one file, 
it's not like that this one you know would be sufficient for both the files no one file pointer for this one for this so fptr1 fptr2 right now obviously we will read a character so you are supposed to take a variable in which you are going to store that thing right now open this file into read mode so how you will open fptr1 is equal to using f open function f open name is abc.txt and i'm going to open this into read mode and here you can check if fptr1 equal to equal to null then cannot open file or you can say error error while opening the file and exit from this point right same same line you will write down for this file right obviously you are supposed you you need to open this file also to write something into this file right so same we will write f ptr2 is equal to f open and the name is i'm taking suppose destination destination dot txt and you need to open this file into write mode right so if file does not exist it's okay it will create a new file in write mode obviously that is the thing i hope now you are clear with this these modes because we have discussed these modes so it will create a destination dot txt file but that would be blank same i guess you can write down this thing these three lines here if this and this if fptr2 is equal to null print f error while opening this file and exit right we cannot open this file because of some error right so you will check this thing after this what logic you will write now read this file character by character so i am writing a while loop here while i am i am fetching a character using f get c obviously this function you need to use f get c and here i am passing f ptr1 the file pointer are 2 so you need to take care which file pointer is for this f ptr1 right f ptr1 and whatever character you will fetch you need to store that character so i am taking a variable c right till till end of file once character is end of file stop so the condition would be this character not equal to end of file till then we are going to run this loop once the character is end of file exit from the loop right now in this loop i hope you got the condition why i am writing this condition right this is very simple now in this case now you are supposed to write down the logic of copying this content into this one or to write this whatever character you have fetched to write this character into this destination file so what which function you need to use f put c right and here character is character would be in c this variable and in which file you are going to copy f ptr2 this is the file pointer for this file right that's it now character by character it is going to copy and once you have exit from the loop so after this i am going to write print f uh, you can write down a message like successfully copied the content such type of message you can write down f close f ptr1 and f close f ptr2 or before writing the print f also you can close this thing right these pointers i hope now you got this logic because this is very simple right now successfully suppose we have opened this file so f get c will fetch one character from f ptr1 f ptr1 is pointing to this one so it will fetch h now c the character is h right in c variable we have h so h is not equal to end of file yes condition true so enter into this loop f put c now in c we have h right so now put this h into fptr2 fptr2 is pointing to this file so h this h would be written into this file again next character is i this is also not equal to end of file so again enter into this and write i here next is slash n this is not also end of file so it will write slash n here so next content would be hello till hello and after that after that this becomes end of file so now end of file 
endophile not equal to endophile? No, condition is not true. So, exit from this while loop and just print successfully copied. Once you will open this file, you will get this content, right? Or if suppose you want to read this content, then also that thing also you can do. But for that thing, you need to open this file into W plus mode. That is for both reading and writing. Because if you open this file in write mode, you cannot read this content, you can only write, right? So, the opening mode you need to take care which function or which thing you want to do with the file according to that you need to open that file in that mode only right so if you want to read that content also then open it into w plus mode right and then you can write down the logic of reading like a while loop and that's it while loop till end of file end of this file file pointer to and uh, for reading you can just read fetch this character by character like f get c you can use it i think you can do that logic by yourself or you can, you know, this is you can say assignment for you, right? Now you have to read the content of this file also, fine? So this is a program. In this program, I have created see two file pointer FPTR one and two, right? And then we have taken a variable characters, but I'm taking ch, right? Now I'm opening this file FPTR one abc.txt into read mode, right? And I'm checking if this is null no file or you can say error while opening a file and exit from this point. Now FPTR2 also, I am opening this destination.txt file into write mode, right? See in my PC I do not have destination.txt file, so it is okay if you are opening this into write mode, it will create a new file also, that is it. But if file do not, if file does not exist and you are opening that file into read mode, then it will return null, right? obviously because file is not there, it is not going to create a new file, right. But in write mode, it is okay, it will create destination.txt, right, because I in my PC, I have only this abc.txt file in this folder, right. So now, if ptr2 is also null, then no file and exit from here. Otherwise, just write down the logic like while this, I am fetching a single character ch is equal to fget c fpt from fptr1 and the condition is not equal to end of file. Till then, then simply write f put c and the variable I am taking here in this case is ch and fptr2 because we are writing, we are copying the content into second file, fptr2 file, right. Then close fptr1 and 2 and then you can just write down the logic like you can write down the line like successfully copied, that is it. Now let me just run this and show you first of all what is this in this abc.txt file, see. Here I have welcome, hi welcome to Jenny's lectures and we are discussing some programs on file handling in C. This is our content, right? So, let me just run this and show you. See here successfully copied. So, now here also we have one new file that is destination.txt. Let me just open this file and show you what is there. See this is the file destination.txt. See in this file also we have the same content right. If suppose in abc.txt file nothing, this is the content. Hi, welcome to Jenny's lectures, right. Now let me just run this again and show you. See now in destination also we have hi, welcome to Jenny's lectures. So this is how you can copy the content of one, one file into another file. There can be another method also, but here we are using, we are you know discussing only one method like reading character by character and writing that character into second file. Other methods, I, th I think you got the logic, so you can write down this program with other, you know, methods also. Maybe you are reading a complete string, not a character, a complete string, that is it, that is also fine. So, now you can do those variation by yourself, right. Now, that is it for this video. So, in the next video, we will discuss one more program on file handling. So, now I will see in the next video, till then bye-bye, take care.